Hey, so. Morning. I need my hat. I need my hat. We finally got our appointment set up to get this truck fixed. Uh, which one? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You, okay. Right. We're going into Winnipeg. Get the truck fixed. Derek's won the battle over who's gonna fix my truck because they can do it faster, about a week faster. Peterbilt wanted to have the truck till the end of the month. So unfortunately, it's a little bit too long for me when I had an offer, when someone said they could get it done quicker, like in five days instead of 13. Every day is money lost when I'm off the road, right? So nothing against them. I have no bias to either one of them, but I just want to get on the road again and the quicker the better. So let's bring the truck in there right now so they can start fixing this thing. Cold, you guys. There's the Tim Hortons on the way to everywhere for me now. Thank you, Timmy's. You make the day better. You and your dark roast. I still haven't tried your dark roast. What's wrong with your old roast? I like your old roast. Has anyone tried this yet? Someone tell me. Is it good? What's the difference? Is it stronger? Maybe if it's stronger, it'll be better because I always have to add an espresso shot into my coffee to make it strong enough. But then again, I'm a pretty extreme kind of person. Well, we must be in Steinbeck. Because everybody is Sunday driving. Except for now they're taking off on me because we had a stoplight. But if you know Steinbeck, you know every day is Sunday when it comes to driving. Except for actual Sunday, Sunday. That's rush hour. Steinbeck is a city in Manitoba that you might call the Bible Belt of Manitoba. So on Sundays, everything pretty much shuts down. Walmart isn't even open on Sundays. Only restaurants and stuff are open because you know, everybody needs to eat after church. So everybody who works in restaurants, you guys have to work. But the rest of us, we don't work on Sundays. <laughs> I never got that, I don't know. You're recording? You're recording and you're focused. Oh, we made it guys, we made it. This is the hospital that my truck shall be cured in. Somewhere in there. Eh, you're gonna get all fixed up in there. <laughs> they figured it should take about five days. Whereas Peterbilt wanted to take 13. That's what I was saying, right? I think it'll take a little longer than five days, but hopefully it won't take all the way to the end of the month. That would be a little bit long. So anyways, I'm gonna go in there, let them know I'm here. Uh, and then I have a ride coming to bring me back to the yard, at uh, the company. And from there, my mom's gonna pick me up and bring me home. That's the plan for today. And then for the next five days, I don't know what I'm gonna do at home. Twiddle my thumbs, make videos. Stuff like that. Hang out on YouTube. I'll find something to do. There's always work to be done. Always. It never ends. It never ends. Okay, guys, let's go in there and uh, let's get this truck fixed up. All right, I'm just gonna take all these straps off for them because they don't, they don't need those straps and I wanna keep them, they're mine. They're mine. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. This one's holding up the bumper. Ugh, just stabilizing the bumper. Everything ugh, was good. I'm gonna need two hands for this. Yeah, I'm gonna need two hands for this. It's just holding this in here, right? Oh, now it's all loose, so they took some straps off, but... And yeah, that's what it looks like without all the straps. <laughs> Everything on there. It's all just cosmetic, so... Next time we see this truck, it's gonna look brand new again. I'm gonna have to get these... decals, decals. Put back on there, but they said they're gonna put the, the mirror back on for me, so... Alright, everybody say goodbye. We're not gonna see her for about a week. Hopefully, no longer than that. A fighter jet! Canadian Air Force. I got a postcard from Las Vegas. 
Catalina, North Las Vegas. That's so cool. I'd love to visit Las Vegas. Oh, I'd love to visit Las Vegas. Just to go and hang out and go look at all the lights and the city. So this came in the mail too. Tumblers. And I found my new bed set in here. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, 10 times. Cabela's 10 piece real tree bedding collections, 8 piece twin. Well, I don't want a twin. I have a king size bed. I'm sure you get in king size. Are you kidding me? $225? That's probably a king size, right? $225? Maybe not. Maybe I'll just have to uh, just leave it as a thought. I'm not paying $225 bucks for a bed set. Kidding me? Anyways, it'd be pretty cool, though, eh? Camel bed set. It also comes with drapes for the room. You can have camel drapes. And uh, what else is it going to Oh, bed skirt. Two shams. What's a, what's a sham? Two toss pillow covers. Cool. That would be pretty cool to have. Cool, yeah, they got all kinds of stuff in here. They got shirts and sweaters and... And boots and stuff. I really gotta go and get my firearm license so I can buy a gun. Because I saw guns up here in the front. I don't want a pistol or anything. Like, pistols are for shooting people. I want a gun that's for hunting. Mm -hmm. Guns. Uh, I don't know what I would get exactly. I don't want to. I don't think I really need a shotgun. Not for my first gun. Look at this. One thousand six hundred fifty nine ninety nine. That that gun better be able to blow off a moose's head at that price, man. That is expensive. What does it say? Benelli Super Black Eagle Two Semi-Automatic Shotgun, Recoil Reducing, Twenty Eight Inch, Twelve Gauge, Three and a Half Inch Chamber Camo Pattern. And then you get five dollars off. You spend. $1,700 into the gun, and you get $5 off your ammo. $5. That's a big old fiver, seen one? <laughs> Come on. Really? You should get some free ammo. You just spend $1,700 into a gun, I expect a box of free ammo. I expect two boxes of free ammo. Come on. <laughs> uh, shh. You hear that? That's my lawnmower calling me. And if you guys have watched my past vlogs, you know that when I mow my lawn, I mow my lawn like my life depends on it. That's right, I'm vlogging and riding my riding mower at the same time. What? Diesel. 
How you doing, boy? Stay on the yard, eh? So you're wondering, a bunch of you saying, hey, there's a bunch of cars out there and behind your yard. Yes, there is. That's not my yard. That's that guy's yard. I don't know why he has such a bigger yard than me. I don't know. Whatever. It's got a nice classic car over there. Check that out. Nice. I don't know what he does. I met him once. I still gotta figure out what he does for a living. But yeah, he, uh, that's his land. Back here is where the snakes like to hide. There's a bunch of snakes in here somewhere. I think they're pretty much gone for the year, though. They went to hibernate. Hey, Diesel, what do you think? What do you think? You want to mow some more lawn? If you ever want to exercise your dog, just chase him with the lawnmower. That's what I do. Wanna go outside, Diesel? Wanna go outside? Oh, very much so, please. Very much. I'd really, really like to go outside. No, you don't want to go outside? Okay. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I thought we were going outside, man. Out there. Speak. Say yes. Wanna go outside? <coughs> Give me a manly bark. Barking like a girl. How bad you wanna go outside? How bad you want to go outside? Tell everybody. How, how bad you want to go outside? <laughs> you always get mad at me when I bark. Now you want me to bark? I'm so confused. Okay. Now let's go outside. Let's go outside. Oh, he found a bird. He's going to chase the bird. Diesel, don't go too far. There you go, right to the edge of the property. <laughs> he knows where the property is. Yeah, so we made it home. We got the truck at the shop. Looks like it should be ready to go next week sometime, early next week, hopefully. Um, if we had put it in the shop right away when we went out for those estimates, remember we had to get two estimates, so uh, if we would have put it in the shop right away that day, I could have been leaving end of this week. But we had to get the two estimates to make sure we were getting the best deal possible. So uh, these guys offered to do it for $400 more, but they also offered to do it a week faster so in the long run if I sit at home for an extra week that would be more expensive than paying an extra $400 to get it done in a week that makes sense so yeah we decided to go with these guys and uh, from what I've heard they do really good work I've heard lots of good things about them I've asked around everybody I can and yeah should be, should be before you know it we'll be back on the road so you guys ready for about a week's worth of home time vlogs yet? You're okay with that, right? Right, Diesel? Right, Diesel? We're just gonna hang out at home and do a bunch of stuff. I wanna look into getting uh, Diesel's pen built. I wanna show you what's going on here. He's just loving that. So here's Diesel's house, right? And I want these trees to be in his pen. Here's the corner of my house here. And there's his house here. So this here is the bedroom door, right? So I come out of my bedroom and I'm gonna have cement pads here to walk on. I'm gonna have a gate probably straight ahead there or on the side there behind his, beside his pen, sort of like at the old place. I'm gonna have a fence coming up along the side of the house here over, over his dog house. And it's gonna come out here, right along here until here. And then I want the fence to go around these trees here All the way around this tree here, all the way over here, and then to the edge of my house here. 
and that's where his house, his dog house is there, right? So he'll have this whole open area for running around. Diesel, that's not our yard. Get back over here. Still learning his boundaries. Good boy. Oh, come on, you gotta bring it here, man. Diesel, I'm over here. Where are you going with that? Oh yeah, man, I forgot. I'll bring it back to you. Okay, sit. Or lay down. No, bring it up here. I don't want to bend all the way down there. Come on, bring it up here. Good boy. Yeah, I gotta hold this camera with the other hand now. Good boy. Mid air. Good boy. Yep, we did it again. We did it again. Can you see it? Can you see it right there? It's right there. Diesel, bring it back. <laughs> You're not picking up the candle? Is that too girly for you or what? Huh? Why don't you get it down, man? All right. Where is it? There it is. Mm. Yeah! Get it, Diesel. It's right here. It's right here, man. Not the candle. Right here. Okay, get it, get it. Get it, man. Get it. Get it. Oh, dang, you're so close. <laughs> Come on, man, get it. Get it, man. <laughs> Come on, get it. Jump. <laughs> Good boy, you tried hard. You tried hard. <laughs> that was kind of funny, actually. <laughs> oh. We gotta practice your jumping, apparently. How'd you think I was gonna mark it? <laughs> my tree, man. It's my tree. You know, Treat. My treat. Oh, I cracked myself up. Oh, that's probably not good. My treat. I'm very territorial. <laughs> my tree. It's the biggest one here. Don't mean to brag or anything, but I got the biggest one in the park. <laughs> Every once in a while, I go back and watch some of my favorite vlogs that I made. And that's one of my favorite vlogs that I made. <laughs> so guys, uh, you just really zoomed in on me again. Why do you guys do that? Because bubble, there's a bubble here. Back off. So guys, I know I've had a lot of home time vlogs this month. I appreciate you guys all putting up with that. I know that you pretty much subscribed to me for my travel content. I know that. And, uh, you know that I have no control over this though, right? <laughs> I wish I could be out there on the road. I really need to be out there on the road making money. But, you know how it is. Mama Moose got in my way and here we are. So we're going to be at home for at least another five days yet, guys. So five days of home time vlogs. And I know some of my home time vlogs is me just sort of doing things around the house. Sometimes we go out and do something exciting. You know, let's try to do something exciting tomorrow. Let's do something crazy. I don't know what though. We'll figure that out tomorrow. <laughs> but guys, thanks for putting up with these home time vlogs. Thanks for putting up with all my vlogs. Whatever I do every day, that's what my vlogs are about. It's just a storyline of my life, right? Day by day, no matter what I'm doing, I take you guys along with me, make a little video out of it, try to make it entertaining. Some are more entertaining than other days, but hey, that's life. Not every day of your life is interesting, is it? Not every day of my life is either. But, I do my best. I really enjoy making these vlogs for you guys. Do you guys enjoy them? Thumbs up if you enjoy my vlogs. Thumbs up. Give, go down below, there's this thumbs up button. Smash that thumbs up button. Give me as many likes as you can. It's free, and I don't get paid for likes. There's this rumor going around that I get money or something off people thumbs up and no. That doesn't do anything for me other than motivate me to make another vlog. And on YouTube, what it does is it might get me, uh, I don't know, what does it do really? If the video gets a lot of likes, it shows up in the recommendations for other people. 
more often, I think. But I don't get paid off likes, guys. So I'm not profiting off likes. It's free for you to hit the like button. Smash that like button for me on every video. I really appreciate when you do. Because the biggest thing that it does do is it gives me motivation and inspiration to make another vlog tomorrow. Even though I'm feeling kind of down that my truck is in the shop. It's costing me $8,000 to fix my truck. and You know, the support of all you guys out there is what keeps me going. There's 27 some thousand of you out there when I'm making this vlog. We're getting close to 30,000 of you. And every single one of you matters to me. Because you all... You all motivate me more than you know. So before I get all sentimental on you guys and start tearing up and saying, I love you. I love you guys. I just want to say thank you for all your support, especially in this difficult time for me. I may be masking it well, hiding it well. I don't know if I am or not, but you know, it's not easy going through uh, a move and then hitting Mama Moose all in the same month. It's like I said, the positive side of it is I sold my house, um, which makes it a little easier, but that money was not designated for a $8,000 repair like this. Get out of my face, fruit fly. You're gonna die. You're ruining my sentimental moment. Where'd he go? I'm gonna kill him later. <laughs> okay. Just, uh, just know that I'm doing okay. I made a lot of new friends in the town here where I am, and uh, I'm doing great. And because of your support and you smashing that thumbs up button, really motivates me. Makes me feel good, and it makes me want to make a new vlog tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time, here in North America. Same time as always, same time as every other single day. There's always a vlog up for me, 4 a.m. Central Time. I'll see you then.